Ian, as, as first days go, you must be absolutely thrilled with that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we can really uh, pick the performance apart at all. I thought it was outstanding from, from start to finish as well. I thought we were very good even in the first half, even though we didn't score. Um, but the, the way we applied ourselves in the second half, I think, was uh, was brilliant. And yeah, as first days go, if you can map them out, I think that's exactly what you want from a, from a first performance of the season. As you say, the first half was good, mm. but what was different about the second half? I think we talked about it that we, we start, I felt like we started the game first kind of 10 15 minutes really well and then we allowed the tempo to drop a little bit they sat down and we maybe met the ball a little bit too much and then we said in the second half I think we have to totally increase the intensity of our attacking play uh, when we get into the final third more runs be more dynamic be braver 1v1 I thought Dion was brilliant you know uh, one against one so I, I just felt like we kind of stepped up the, the tempo on the ball um, and that's why we created a lot of chances, I think, right from the, the first minute of the second half. What was that like, having more than a 1,000 not supporters here? I think far outnumbering the home supporters. It was unbelievable, fantastic. I mean, you know, we, we said before we missed the fans and, and to see so many travelling, the support and the fact we could score five goals in front of them in the second half was, was fantastic, you know, both for us and for them. Talk me through the... The goal scorers, uh, two for Rodriguez, one for Wooten, one for Robertson and one for Jim O'Brien. But, I mean, the, the O'Brien one's an absolute bonus, but to have all three of your front men score on opening day is a dream, right? Yeah, and, and I think we've got goals in this team. We've said it before and, you know, we've still got players like Aaron Cairo, Eli sat on the bench hungry to come in, which is a brilliant position to be in. Um, but, yeah, I thought Woods was excellent. Really happy that he got his goal. And, and yeah, the other boys, are, they're going to create a lot through the season. I think we know that. So we just have to, what I was pleased about today was we were very secure behind the ball. They counted once or twice, but, you know, Brins, uh, Kyle Cameron, um, Connell and, and Ed Francis controlled the middle of the pitch when we lost the ball really well, which has been a, a weak point for us. One of the things that of last season teams looked to try and do a lot was try and win free kicks and mm. things like that in the final third and so they can launch long balls into the... It didn't look like that was ever going to be the Achilles heel today that it was last season. I felt like we, we dealt with a lot of their long throws and, and set pieces well. I thought Kyle Cameron dominated the box in there and uh, yeah, we, we needed that. We didn't look uh, nervous or vulnerable through those situations, so that's a, that's a good sign. I didn't expect Kyle Roberts to play a full 90. No, uh, but he's looked great. You know, he looked great in the Solly All game and he's feeling fantastic. And, and uh, you know, I don't think I would have... Uh, it's his first game back, you know, proper game back from such a long period out. I'm so happy he got his goal in front of the fans. Um, but I didn't dare bring him off today because he was having so much fun out there. So I wanted to leave him on. Ruben Rodriguez would have taken that penalty, I imagine, where he's still on the pitch, but you'd hooked him two minutes before. Yeah, I'm glad I hooked him there. You know? <laughs> I didn't get his hat trick. No, no, no. We, we <laughs> wait for later for that. But um, no, I was, you know, I'm really happy Cal got that goal. And Ruben did great, you know, when he was on. He's obviously had a really kind of stuttered pre season and, and we didn't want to take a risk for more than 65. But lucky for us, the game was pretty much put to bed then and we, and we could bring him off and he'd done his job. A word to you there was a moment in the game where the ball went 60 yards in the air and it came down in the technical area and you, you stuck out a boot and with the outside of it flicked it into the path of the Barnet player to take his take his throw and you looked absolutely thrilled with yourself you got a good round of applause as well yeah well you know I, I don't have a reputation as a player certainly <laughs> so I was very happy when that got when I plucked that one out of the air I was a little bit nervous as it was coming <laughs> down but just composed myself and even uh, even Harry gave me a bit of credit for that one so I was more than happy I think that was the best touch of the day what did um, he say great touch um, <laughs> Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> but I'll take that as a compliment. He's yeah. a man of few words. Yeah, um, yeah. From here, you go into a really tough bank mm. holiday weekend with Torquay and, uh, and Wrexham as well. So how important was it to start on such a good footing today? Yeah, um, it's massive to get that first game, get that first three points, a clean sheet, um, all of those things out of the way. But, you know, we don't, don't get carried away. I know it's like really cliched and a bit boring, but it's one game. Um, we, we have a lot of work to do. I think we, have, we, we can show at times what our top level is. I thought the move that we had before we, for the penalty, uh, the passing sequence before the penalty was just fantastic. So we know what our top level is, but you know it's it's up to us to work hard every day to to get there. And, and now we just focus for for the bank holiday weekend. Well done today, thrilled for you, and to coin a phrase from a former European Cup winner, great touch.